All right. Um, I wasn't expecting the glare to come off the cars through the window and right into my eyes. I uh, probably could have timed this better with the sun, but hey, uh, that's what we get for the first Tasting Tuesday. Hello, everybody. My name is Sam. I'm the head roaster here at, uh, at Village Coffee Roastery, and uh, I want to do a little bit of a, a Tasting Tuesday. Um, with two of the coffees that we have featured this week. One is Tanzanian Peaberry, one is Harar. And um, the purpose of today of this video is just to kind of taste it, um, talk about the, the tasting notes, talk about how we cup or how I cup all of our coffee to make sure that it's up to the high quality that you expect. Um, yeah, so if it all goes well, we should be doing this every single week. Um, if not, well, at least I hope you enjoy this video. We are going to be tasting Tanzanian Peaberry and Harar, both Africans, one's from Tanzania, one's from Ethiopia. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna kinda uh, contrast and compare, co compare and contrast, that's what I was looking for. Compare and contrast the flavors and um, yeah. So let's get into it. First things first, what we need to do is grab the coffee. I've already done that. So, uh, step one, done. Grab the coffee, done. You can cross it off your list. Um, step two, though, is to measure it out. So, what's very important, especially with cupping, is the ratio that you need to use. Um, typically, the standard ratio for coffee is 60 grams of coffee to one liter of water. This is not a liter of water. Um, this is much, much less. A liter is about like three, is, is a little over three gallons. Um, and so what we need to do is figure out how big this cup is. I can tell you it's six ounces. Um, and then what that ratio, what needs, what that ratio needs to be for coffee. So um, I've already done the math. Um, to follow a ratio of about 60 grams to one liter of coffee for six ounces, uh, we need about 10.2 grams of coffee. Take my word for it. You can do the math if you want, um, <laughs> but you don't have to. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the cup on here. We're gonna zero it out and we'll do a hurrah first. So we need 10.2 grams of hurrah. Perfect. All right, take that off, zero it out. We'll do the same thing with pea berry. Perfect. 10.2 grams of pea berry. So what we need to do right now though, is grind the coffee beans. So the question is, what kind of brewing method is cupping, right? Um, if you don't know what cupping is, basically it's we have our, our beans in here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind them and put them right back in here and pour the water over it and let it infuse. Basically just let it kind of, the water in the coffee grinds hang out. No filter, no nothing. So usually you grind your coffee based off of what filter you use, but if we're not using a filter, what, like, how do you do it? So standard, what I do, grind it to a coarse grind, right? I treat it almost as like a tiny mini little French press um, coarse grind, because the French press allows the grinds in the water to hang out, right, to infuse, before the set, there we go, before the second step of pushing down the French press, pushing down the filter to uh, separate the water. I'm gonna knock something over here. This is not good, Lisa's gonna kill me. So we do that, except what we're doing is we're not pushing down, we're not gonna separate the grinds from the water with a filter, there's a different way of doing that and we're gonna get into that soon. Following like the basics of a French press, we now have our grinds in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour the water over it slowly and just kind of almost fill it up to basically about, well, we'll do it one at a time, making sure that we get everything. So we'll set this aside, put this on here, and we'll do the same thing with the hurrah. French press method is four minutes, and so that's what we're gonna go with here. We're gonna set a timer for four minutes and basically just let these brew for four minutes. 
So we're right about at our four minute mark. Um, so I'm gonna explain why we need these spoons. Uh, more than just kind of how you've seen cupping where they dip it and then slurp the coffee, the spoons will act as a way to stop the brewing method like how filters stop a brewing method. As long as the coffee grinds and water are kind of infusing and hanging out, it's going to keep brewing. What's crazy about coffee science is the second that you disrupt it, I've got like three seconds left. Um, basically, the second you break this crust, all the grinds will sink down to the bottom and the brewing method stops. Same thing with this one. And so then what we're gonna do, what we need two spoons for, is we're basically going to kind of clean off the top of any grinds that are stuck there. A separation between the coffee and the grinds at the bottom and we want to just drink the coffee. Right? Um, we're gonna let these sit because they're a little too hot to drink. Um, believe it or not, the cooler that a coffee gets, the easier it is for you to pull out the flavors in your palate. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes. I've cleaned up my stations and everything. So let's dive into what these taste like. Um, let's start with pea berry. So first things first, we're just gonna get a little spoonful of it and slurp. Yeah. Right off the bat, I'm getting sweet notes from this pea berry and that's from the fruity tones that it tends to give off. Uh, so let's try again. Very medium bodied, not overbearing at all. Um, medium to light bodied, I'd say on this one. This is a nice, kind of a, a crisper, lighter coffee. Um, I would drink this, I'd probably drink this over ice um, in the middle of a summer. It kind of reminds me of, of almost like, not like a lemonade, but kind of like a nice, this would be a good ice drink for like sitting out on the back patio. So I'm happy with that. Now let's see how Harar did. First impressions, what do we got? Oh yeah, oh it's 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 like earthier. That is, it's heavy. This is a heavy coffee. Not overbearing heavy. Like I've had coffee, um, I, I got as a gift. Um, coffee from Wyoming, from the Yellowstone National Park. I had friends that went there, they bought coffee there, brought it back for me to try. Sweet, loved, like very nice of them to do that, but I tried it and it was bitter, heavy, dark, like kind of like that aftertaste that what turns people off of coffee, let that aftertaste. That's what that coffee did. This doesn't, this has the body of what a full body earthy coffee should have, but there's not like a, a burning or like a bitter aftertaste. Like you just, you know, got done sleeping in a chimney. Yeah. Two delectable, is that a good adjective? Two delectable coffees, two desirable coffees, two really good coffees. Um, yeah, so uh, final thoughts. This pea berry that we have right now, boom, it's over there. Uh, we're selling it this week, it's over there. Um, and then Harar, which we also have over there. Um, pea berry, great for like the middle of the day during the summer, which is like right now, it's awesome. Uh, pour it over ice. Uh, brew it, pour over ice, or use it as a cold brew, um, and just enjoy the nice um, light notes of it because it's a great balance for this weather. And then uh, hurrah for when you wake up in the morning and you just need a good, just like, you know, something that you don't need to like be frolicking through flowers or, but you need a coffee that like you brew it, you drink it in the morning and you're like, that's a good hearty coffee. So. That would be my, um, that, that, that is my professional assessment of our two coffees. So if you're interested in either one of those, we have them, we're selling them all week um, here at Village Coffee Roastery behind me. Yeah, so two great coffees. Thanks for coming to the first ever Tasting Tuesday. Um, I promise I'm gonna get better at this. Mm -hmm.